So I'm about to go in to Motion Lab Berlin, which is pretty much a central place for some innovation in Berlin. And this is for the next Hub conference. And we're gonna see stuff regarding open source, privacy, security, and lots of other fun stuff. Let's go ahead and go inside. It's very yeah. lucky that they picked this blue bus because it matches up perfectly with that next cloud blue that you're all familiar with. So this bus has actually been converted to be used as a meeting room. You can see that it's sound treated. Here's okay. so the, going to be on there. the driver's seat. Okay. And if I head upstairs, this is my favorite part. You go in this tiny little room and I can interview people from the top front of the bus. The way that they keep airflow inside the bus so people don't like die is they use little desktop fans. I thought it was neat. And for those of you who don't know what Nextcloud is, it's all about data ownership, which is easily an extension of privacy because this relates to who owns your data, who owns other fun things in your life, who owns your passwords, who owns your diary, who owns your chat logs. If you wanna have the Google ecosystem or the Apple ecosystem without these big tech companies who influence and control what you have and can do, that's where Nextcloud comes in. As you can see, I am inside this phone booth, so you can make phone calls in here despite this being a shared space where people can work. So if you have to hop on a quick phone call or a meeting or something and you don't want everyone else to hear what you're talking about, you can just hop in this little bubble. Or if you're introverted like me and you just need space from everyone. This is where a lot of people can get busy and collaborate on open source projects, which produce what you're eventually going to use as an end user, which is just awesome to see how some people can come together and make magic happen. I really wanted to show, so here's the bus, that's the stage, that's the entrance. Now what I haven't shown you is the whole other part of this giant building that's kind of off limits. Um, yeah, so they're not using it for the conference. I'm not like technically allowed to go over there, um, but this is all the stuff that happens here. There's a big group of people out there now, so let's go hop over and I'll see you after the announcement. I just had a nice lunch and everyone seems super excited. I mean, there's a lot of new features in Hub 6, which was definitely the really all the announcements for the most part. But I think the big thing that a lot of people are talking about as they're eating lunch and all the questions in the Q&A really revolved around the AI. Now, this AI is super cool. The reason is because right now we have ChatGPT and we have a million other AI companies coming out right now, but you don't really own and host it yourself. Super exciting announcement. Everyone is super curious about how it's going to work and how well it works, and um, especially how many resources it's going to take because obviously Nextcloud can run on a Raspberry Pi or it can run on an intense server. The last thing that makes this awesome is obviously from a privacy perspective, um, you own the data. So it's all yours. You don't have to worry about the crap that ChatGPT is gonna collect about you or what they might do or all of this currently unfolding privacy space that's happening with the AI world. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy to think about the possibilities this provides not just individuals, but governments who might wanna run their own AI models or companies and not have to deal with the risk of having to outsource that through a company like ChatGPT or um, anything like that. Um, everyone has different operating systems. I just kind of look around, and I'm not like spying on everything they're doing, but I'm just quickly looking at people's screens and you see people running Ubuntu, I've seen Linux Mint, I've seen Mac OS, a lot of Mac OS actually, a couple Windows machines here and there, but it's cool to see the diversity of operating systems. Don't you love just walking by some Monero stickers on the way back? Now, one thing that's definitely fun for me to probably talk about is, um, do any of you remember that Nextcloud Made Easy series that I was going to make? Yeah. So a lot of you asked what happened. And actually, if you join our forum, you already know what happened because that's where I answer a lot of your questions because I don't have time to get back on every platform. But um, that is something that I probably should have waited to start because the moment I started the series was when a lot of stuff pretty much uh, started going on in other areas uh, for tech world. I feel a little bit silly being at this conference covering Nextcloud, but um, it has kind of inspired me a little bit to try to prioritize that a little more. So no promises on any dates or anything, but I hope to continue that Nextcloud series ASAP after literally meeting their team and getting to know the community. So to kind of summarize the first day, kind of looking back on it, I would say the keynote was by far the most important thing. It is ultimately a Nextcloud conference, so it makes sense that they talk about 
NextCloud updates. Um, but they also had the panel sessions as well where they covered that trust, transparency, and together. And that is on YouTube now. And you should definitely check out that panel discussion because they cover a lot of interesting concepts. It's just a wonderful discussion. And there's also all the lightning talks as well as the workshops that happened on the first day. And I cannot tell you all enough, you need to check out the NextCloud channel, which I'll leave linked what in the card thing and also down in the description and now my camera's all over the place but um definitely check out those first days i also want to take this time to quickly uh, thank our sponsors uh, which for this video are both tutanota tutanota is our recurring sponsor and they're freaking awesome they're the email provider and they run on renewable energy and i love what they're doing over there and also nextcloud uh pretty much uh, flew me out there for the conference to cover the conference and so i also want to thank nextcloud uh to help me put this video together as well day two let's do this conference um it's very bittersweet like i had such a good time and the people there were just phenomenal and it's just so rare to actually get to interact with other people who value data privacy data security data ownership free and open source software and all these values in one place and to be real people um so i don't know it's bittersweet to say bye to them and i'm excited uh to hopefully see them again next year um because they do this conference almost every year so yeah oh it was such a good time and i got to have those two really awesome interviews and i'll try to have those up very soon as well Now the second day for me felt more like serious business. Today it was really getting into the talks, getting into the discussions, the panel discussions, and uh, at the very end of it to speak to this is when they start their coding workshops. Get ready for those very good interviews if you wanna get some more insight into how Nextcloud works internally, as well as some of the uh, community around Nextcloud because the first interview is with a Nextcloud employee and the second one is with a, a volunteer who helps contribute to Nextcloud and uh, other various Nextcloud projects. And so we kind of get perspectives of the community as well as the internal Nextcloud team. That was probably one of the coolest things for me because Nextcloud really is a company, right? Like they have their own organization, but they also have a super strong community backing. It is open source with a company involved in a way that was very, I felt unique. The community trusted the company and the company trusted the community. And it was such a cool mishmash that I haven't seen yet before. Motion Lab Berlin, which is the venue with the bus and everything was also just phenomenal. It was just such a great trip. Um, and so I really, again, have to thank uh, Nextcloud for pretty much flying me out there and making this possible. Um, but also I really want to outline that these talks, I, I'm not giving it enough credit. These talks are phenomenal, especially if you enjoy open source if you enjoy privacy, especially if you use Nextcloud. If you use Nextcloud, if you've had experience with Nextcloud, if it's something you want to dive into, go check out all the videos. I'm linking some of them below, my favorites, as well as just their YouTube channel, and you can view pretty much everything that happened at the conference for free online right now. Um, so you're not going to get that cool in-person experience, but you can still learn and educate yourself and see what everything's about by watching those videos. So go check those out. I want to thank again Nextcloud for flying me out. I want to thank everyone I interviewed for taking time to be there. I want to thank everyone who was there. Um, a few of you did recognize me, which is always kind of fun to meet people in real life who like our content. So thank you all very much for the kind words. Thank you for watching as well. If you like this kind of content, I know it's kind of different and not normally what we do here. Normally everything is filmed inside this room. Um, so if you liked it, let me know. And definitely something I can keep on the radar for future content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time on Tech Lore. Keep an eye out for those interviews and stay safe out there. Mm -hmm.